it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts again. Welcome back to my video channel. Um, so, uh, you will remember that yesterday we made a card using Bike Ride, which was this card. Um, and it got my creative juices flowing. So, I challenged myself to make cards that didn't have a bike in them that were from the bike ride. So I have made a collection. Um, this is actually the one we're going to make today, so I'll come back to that. So we've got the little doggy um, and the envelope that goes with that has got just the dog on the flap. So there's two of those. This is the one using the bunch of flowers and that's just got the bunch of flowers on the envelope flap. And this is using that uh, same stamp set we used yesterday, or same, same collection as we used yesterday, but with the basket um, that's on the bike ride, and then I've just put the basket on the flap. So I'm going to do these as a gift uh, for um, a friend. Um, so, I don't know why I suddenly stopped there, but there we go. Um, so this is the one I'm going to do the second one of today, and it's got the apples on the flap, as you would have guessed. So this is actually using the note cards and envelopes. I think we quite often forget that we've got those, um, which do make really lovely quick cards, uh, particularly when you're just putting one little element in the middle of the card. Um, I have done mats um, as ever. The measurements will be on the associated blog post below. So um, don't worry about writing anything down. Um, I will list all the colours I used, but there's going to be a lot, um, so just bear that in mind. Obviously, you wouldn't have to get all of them, because um, you could do a different colourway. But it's just the ones that I've used, but it is going to look like a long list. So, uh, I'm going to start with the apple outline, um, and then... This is the mat, uh, which coincidentally, but as I say, it will be on the blog, is three by four and a half inches. And I'm going to take Old Olive and just stamp that at the top of, towards the top of my card. Um, I don't know why I just cleaned that off, because I actually need it again. Because while I've got the Old Olive out, I'm going to take a V envelope and stamp the flap. There we go, so that's that done, and it means I can close up the old olive and put the outline of the apples away and bring in the solid apple. Now, I know it's not a pear, it's an apple, but pear pizzazz, um, it seems like the most appropriate of our colours for apples. So, Let's, and as ever, you're standing in my way again. But let's see, there we go. Yay! Now, obviously, in the privacy of your own home, when you haven't got potentially a thousand people standing watching you, um, you could get over that more easily. So now, lemon lime twist for the leaves, um, which are a funny little stamp. Um, it's... It's this sort of splattering there. It's actually the leaves and the stalks, um, but there we go. That's what it is. So that's what we're going to use. This really is going to be a challenge having you guys standing over me because it means I can't stand over me, but we'll give it a go. Load, aim, fire. Yes, hurrah. Okay, so that's actually all the stamping. As I said, this is going to be really quick. Um, I mean, obviously, I have made eight. Uh, well, I've made seven already, and I'm now on the eighth, so they would take a little longer than this. Um, but you would do two at a time, uh, which helps save time. So my favourite, favourite multi-purpose glue. Um, you do not need much. That's probably more than sufficient. But it does mean you've got that little bit of wiggle room so that you can get it lined up where you want it. 
so that's that and then I'll bring in my note card now I keep saying fold towards the mountain and of course you can't really see it but there's a if I rub my finger over I can feel the score line as a as, as a projection whereas here it's a dip so I fold towards the mountain get my bone folder and this is thick whisper white and it is thick whisper white um, so it needs a good burnish and then more multi-purpose glue on the back it's a very very warm day today um, we've had a really funny week but today is very warm it's coming up to 30 degrees as I am filming this so the glue is drying out almost you know the moment I open the top right so there we are as simple as that um, now as I say it's going to be a gift so because it's going to be a gift tomorrow I will show you how I am going to package it um, so come back for that but in the meantime remember all the fantastic deals we've got going at the moment um, I am running a giveaway for every 25 pounds you spend you get to be entered into my giveaway which is for she says running over and getting it for these two stamp sets uh, that's one prize they're both hostess sets so if you don't normally um, get to the point where you can choose hostess sets um, this is the perfect giveaway for you we've then got uh, bonus days so for every 45 pounds you spend at my online store you will get a voucher or a code for £4.50 to spend in August, so spend your £45 in July in an one order, you can't accumulate them. Um, if you spend £90, you will get two £4.50 vouchers um, to spend in August, and you can spend those at the same time, so you can get £9 free. Um, and then if you have a large order, remember our Christmas in July giveaway, I say giveaway, deal, um, it's the standard starter kit so 99 pounds for 130 pounds worth of product but you then get in addition to that um the carols for christmas uh stamp set which is brand spanking new and i'm hoping it's going to arrive with miss my uh, ups order any day now um it's left germany it's on its way um so carols for christmas two d blocks a snail um a pair of snips a bone folder and a pack of grid paper that totals the free items that you will just be given 65 pounds so, so for 99 pounds you get 195 pounds worth of product which is brilliant um, you also if you are thinking about meeting minimums which would be lovely if you continued and got your discount for as long as you possibly could uh, because it's the beginning of a quarter you will have until the end of December um, to meet your minimums and your minimums work out at roughly a pound a day um, between now and the end of December which is nothing it's not even a coffee um, and it would mean you would get to pre-order autumn winter and pre-order spring summer and celebration items so perfect time to join my team so maybe I will be welcoming you to my team very soon if not I look forward to um, seeing you again tomorrow and hopefully seeing your order in my online store um, if you haven't subscribed already please click subscribe which is down in the bottom right hand corner um, and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and I will see you again very soon thanks a lot <laughs>